So here I have an object that is a compound path. Um, and I'm, I want to have the uh, stroke width on the outside of the object different from the inside of the object. But if you select this object and you set a stroke width, it sets it for both the inner and outer um, paths. So um, if I want different stroke widths, I need them to be different uh, paths. Um, and one easy way to do that is to go ahead and just use this um, the filled image for your fill color. So let's go ahead and turn off stroke altogether. And then with the direct select tool, we can select the outer path. And we'll go ahead and copy that with Control C. And then we'll paste it in front with Control F. Now we'll go ahead and make that a, uh, transparent with a black stroke. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the inner path. Control C to copy that. Control F to paste it in front. And then we'll set this, set it to transparent fill and stroke. Now, when we select the stroke on the outside, we can set it to whatever size we want. And the inner stroke can be completely independent.